Hey gang, Evie here. Welcome to my review of the Marvel Studio Thor Ragnarok, the Infinity Saga Surtur figure. Uh, this is a Marvel Legends figure. He's an oversized figure. This is the box that he came in. It's just a window box where you can see the accessories he came with, so on and so forth. I know you can't really see the whole box, so I'm going to have to dismount the uh, camera here so you can get a look. Panning up. All right, top of the box, Thor Ragnarok. Surtur, side of the box, just some artwork. Other side of the box, some more artwork. Back of the box, you have the movie poster for Thor Ragnarok. Surtur, Marvel Legends at the top there some legal mumbo jumbo and then some uh, multilingual brief bio there empowered by the eternal flame the demon surter rises from the ashes to unleash his fury upon asgard and that's all it says on there unfortunately um he is a fire giant one of the fire G demons from um mespelheim i believe is how you pronounce it uh, the land of the fire demons <laughs> He is a big part of the uh, um, the Ragnarok legend, and uh, in Norse mythology, and and one of Thor's major villains in the, in the comics. So anyhow, that's all I got to say about the packaging and the character himself. Um, here is the figure. It was pretty far back there in my display. Um, as you can see, he's a big boy. <laughs> um, because he's a big boy, we're going to do size comparison first. Um, he is a Marvel Legends figure, so I am going to bring in a Marvel Legend first off. So here is a movie version of Thor. So you can see how he measures up with him. Uh, I believe that was the uh, the Thor that came in with the two-pack with Lady Sif. Um, and here is a, another Thor from the Marvel Secret Wars two-pack. So you can see how he measures up. And quite frankly, uh, Surtur is supposed to be massive. So I actually think he scales better with the 118th scale as opposed to the, the 112th. Um, and because I do focus mo most of my reviews on 118th scale figures, I am going to do size comparison now with him standing against other uh, 118th scale figures. Um, here is Snake Eyes from the uh, vintage G.I. Joe line. Vintage Collection Luke Skywalker. These are both three and three quarter inch figures. Here is a more modern G.I. Joe, Cobra, Donald, da, 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 General Cobra Trooper. A Boss Fight Studio Blank. Just over his knee there. Um, Marvel Universe Captain America, just because Marvel Universe figures are not universal. In height. And then last but not least, we also have a 118th scale Master Chief. So now that I have the size comparisons out of the way and you have a look at the box, let's get a closer look at the figure. I'm going to take this off of the mount again. Very nice sculpt and paint on this guy. Uh, he is mostly made from transparent plastic. The blade even has a clear blade on one end and, and the back on the other. But I do like the uh, the paint on him, even though it uh, there are a couple spotches where it doesn't quite quite match up with his joints. Uh, it's still very very cool. They did a good job, and like I said, he is mostly transparent plastic with paint overlay. So very cool. Here's the back of the figure. Paint continues on the back.
and because it is going to be in the thumbnail and is of course part of the display these flame effects that i have here do not come with the figure itself um they are actually from this which i got online um i do have a review of these i will put a link in the video description so feel free to click on that and you can watch the review on the flame effects um so all in all awesome awesome looking figure I think he scales well with 118th. Let's do some uh, some uh, uh, articulation now. Uh, but before I go into that, I will talk about his accessories. He does come with that sword, which we'll have a closer look at in a second. And he has two alternate hands, a right and a left. Basically, he has a closed fist for his left hand or the grasping hand, which can hold the sword. Or he has the uh, reaching hand for his right or a grasping hand for his sword. So you can hold the sword in either hand, closed fist over there, reaching hand over here. Let's have a look at his sword, which just slides right into his hand there, no issues. Again, mostly transparent plastic, but I like the, uh, the, the shading effect on it. Actually gives it some definition. It's not. It's got a nice texture to it, as though it's it's made up of flame. It's very cool. They did a nice job on that, and it's not flimsy at all. It's pretty. It's pretty sturdy, even though it's it's not too stiff. It's going to crack or anything. It, it's uh, forgiving, but not flimsy. All right, so. I'm gonna try to do the articulation with the camera still mounted here. So we may have to do this a little sideways. Um, his head is on a ball joint with the typical hinge in the neck. So he can do left to right. Not quite a full 360 because these flame effects on this side will get in the way. But he can, uh, he can turn his head. Great range of motion there. Um, like I said, he does have the hinge in the neck, so he can look up straight ahead or down at his, uh, at his intended target. Um, these things are pliable, but they don't feel like they're going to peel off or warp on you, which is nice. Um, shoulders, I'm a little disappointed with, frankly. Uh, they do do a full 360. However, the sculpt on the shoulder itself prevents them from going out any farther than that um, they do go flat down but again they don't go out any farther than that um, biceps would do a full 360 if his shoulders went out farther but they do swivel from side to side um, elbows are double jointed they are a little stiff but they do bend double jointed get his hand up about that high Wrists, full 360 degree rotation. He also has a hinge, so he can point his hand up or down. Um, closed fist, if you were to swap it out, does have different hinge articulation, which I didn't warm up first, but, so there we go, all right, which bends in and out. So he does have different articulation depending on which hand you actually have plugged in. Let's get this back on you. All right. Um, he has a diaphragm joint, which actually has a great range of motion. He can actually go back quite a ways and forward pretty decently, especially with his ab crunch. Um, but the diaphragm joint is the only place you're ever, you're gonna get any swivel out of him. So. He does swivel 360 at the diaphragm joint. There is nothing at his hips. But he does have the, the with the crunch, he can go up pretty high and down pretty far. So that, that's really good. Hips, they are uh, ratcheted, which is nice. So he can kick his leg up about that high, back about that far. He has an upper thigh cut which allows you to do a full 360. His knees are double jointed, but these are very stiff on my figure. 
Ah. But they are double jointed. You can go back about that far. Ankles. He has a full rotation, 360 degree, right above the ankle. Point his toes down about that far. Point his toes up about that far. And he does have the rocker joint there. So great articulation on him. Although I would have liked to have seen a little uh, waist swivel there, but the diaphragm joint makes up for it. So that's pretty good. All in all, he's a great figure. He is very sturdy. I gotta move him back farther. He's very sturdy, surprisingly. Um, despite uh, when I was posing him for my thumbnail, I had flame effects all over him and everything. He kept that pose for a good long while before he actually did fall over. But I mean, I also had him kind of standing awkwardly and all that not. I, I could have had him more stable. The figure himself is very sturdy and I'm very happy about that. Uh, I think he scales perfectly with the 118th. Um, he does look pretty good with the uh, with the 112th as well. Um, I do recommend him. I think he's a good figure. Um, so anyway, this has been AV. This has been my review of the Marvel Studio Series, Marvel Legends Studio Series Thor Ragnarok Searcher figure. If you like this video, check out my channel where you'll see a whole bunch of other um, toy reviews, mostly of the 118th scale. Uh, as well as a few comic books posts here and there. Um, if you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.